hello and good evening everyone we are your hunter guides today i am ashley josh oh, and i am mesha salutan and welcome 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 to our second minecraft virtual tour of bohol wisdom school now because of the pandemic, a lot of us know many students of Bahá'u'lláh Wisdom School have not been given the proper opportunity to have a proper and formal tour and go around the school to really feel that BWC and experience. And as Bahá'u'lláh Wisdom School is our alma mater, we wish to provide that experience in the best way possible with the given resources that we have. So tonight, we are going to be your virtual tour guides and show you around the school through a Minecraft server by Francis Hamito, who acted as the original host for this server, Rafael Nicolo Orilla, Ina Veloso, Sev Abonete, Rodney Fabiania, Kirk Bennett Velocido, Joris Boncaron, Craig Hornido, JV Barrera, John Charles Lofranco, Javier Pino, Chris Dexy Calag, and to AJ Homanget. Thank you, thank you so much for thank helping so our much. students have the chance to know their way around the school. And with that said, are you ready for this virtual tour, BWCNs? A heart reacts naman Jen. I'm like, all right. <laughs> So many thanks again to the people who actually made this Minecraft tour possible. We wouldn't have this live stream without you guys. So let's start. Let's begin. So let's begin with uh, the very uh, start where we enter Bohol Wisdom School, which is the gate. Now, this start... Uh, now, this if you need to remove a white background in Photoshop, there's a variety of really school. easy ways to Face, do so, faces, including uh, if you have part. complicated... Now, here you can see the logo of Bohol Wisdom School and the very big words, which also say Bohol Wisdom School, which mm -hmm. are placed at the very top of the gate. Now, <laughs> let's go inside the school and explore more. I'm so excited to see everything again and actually reminisce about our memories we made at school and share it with you guys. So yes, as we enter the building, the first thing that you will basically see is the very large tree in the middle of the lobby. You will also see the guardhouse as well as the guard on duty. And if you're wondering what a lobby is, a lobby is where students, well, in terms of Bahá'u'lláh Wisdom School, the lobby is where the students used to wait for parents to pick them up and where students used to tam by. So, Hello, Guard Pio and Guard Mark. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out, Guard Pio, if you're watching this. Okay, so going further into the lobby, you will see a very big logo of Bahal Wisdom School on your right. And people take a lot of pictures in front of this logo. So yeah, people still do take pictures yes, whenever still. there's an event. Even especially teachers, because they're still they're still working in Bahá'u'lláh Wisdom School. They're not working from home currently, so hopefully by next year we can have face to face classes. So hoping. hoping so hoping. next, yeah. So moving on, let's go. So when you enter the gate, let's go to the senior high school building, which you can see at the very right when you enter the gate. Now, um, you can see the classrooms, and a little to the left, you will see the grade 11 classrooms now last year actually we would have been in those very classrooms if it weren't for the pandemic yes yes we would have oh, yeah it would have been such a nice yeah it would have been a better experience because those i heard those classrooms i've been in there they're very very cold <laughs> yeah and they're really i think they are like the Biggest. Yeah, they were the biggest classrooms. classrooms in one of the biggest. School. Yeah. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to go inside there and have classes. So moving on, uh, the, uh, <laughs> if we go up the stairs, you will see the grade 12 classroom. So hello, hello to my fellow batchmates. We could have been in those very classrooms. Again, we could have uh, had our classes in those very classrooms, sadly. <laughs> 
So if you go around those classrooms and when you go out, you will see the speech lab. And yes. it's speech lab very is blue. A <laughs> it is. And a speech lab is a place where students get to strengthen their vocabulary, their speech, and pronunciation. This was a very, very blue colored place. Were you able to uh, go inside? I was never able to go inside this room. No, actually. me too. I never actually, oh, I never actually got actually to went try it. Pictures of it. And this really looks like, like a spitting image of the room. I agree. Yeah, I could only see the outside, but I agree with what you said. Yeah. A very, so, very blue room. So moving on. Thank you to our hey. virtual tour guide. Right. Let's go. So I remember moving down this very hallway on my way to my grade 10 classrooms right before <laughs> the pandemic. It's very, the pavement look re looks really nice, but it wasn't like that before face-to-face uh, -face classes. Yeah, the pavements are actually changed right now. It's actually like the gray ones, Tiba. Right? Yeah. Like right now. Now, yeah, there are tiles, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Yeah, and if you guys look to your right, you will see the grade 12 classrooms. And if you look to your left, you will see the high school square. So don't you worry, guys. We will be going to that very high school square la uh, yes. later in our tour. All right. <laughs> so le now let's go up the stairs from the grade 12 hallway. And... Uh, yeah, nice uniform. Uh, thank you to the people who made this, the effort of making a skin yeah, just for this tour. The details, I see. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, so now that we are in the new building, we all we have the grade eight and the grade nine classrooms. So at the right side, you will see the comfort rooms. And there are two sets of comfort rooms at this floor. And this is one of the comfort rooms. One for boys and one for girls, obviously. Yes. <laughs> Which is good. <laughs> very, very good. All right. Thank you very much for showing us. So mm -hmm. you can see the stairways there on your right. So in this building, we have three sets of stairways. So not to worry mm -hmm. if you're going to go face-to-face uh, -face, you can choose from three sets of stairways <laughs> okay so let's go up the stairs go up 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 and on this floor you will find the chapel as well as the grade 10 classrooms so there are very many memories in this floor because we actually got to experience being grade 10 students in face-to-face -face, right Masha? Yeah, right before the pandemic again. But yeah, many we didn't get things. To finish, but like we didn't get to finish. Yeah, to experience it. it was very fun. Okay. <laughs> so when you come up those stairs, the first right? room you will see is the chapel. Yeah, the chapel. So the chapel is obviously a place where students and teachers can go here silently just to pray and have peace of mind. So if you want to have peace of mind and solitude, you can just go here. And yeah, release all your worries yeah. and pray to God, you know. Pray to God, pray to Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let go of all your worries. And if we go out of this room, continuing this path, you will see the grade 10 classrooms on your right. So the first classroom that was beside the chapel was actually Zircon, and it was my classroom when I was in grade 10. Fun fact. <laughs> yeah, and it was Sir Aljan. was Sir Aljan. Shout, Shout out, out to all our fans. Shout yes, out to Aljan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. uh, I see a woman that says looks like the real thing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. To, thank you again. 
to the people who made this server. We're simply commentating on it. Yeah. And our, the real effort goes to the people we mentioned a while ago who made this exactly. server. Thank you very much. Thank you, yes. thank you, thank you. Okay, and if you will continue down this path, at the end of the hallway, you will see the boardroom. The boardroom is a place where the members of the board can hold their meetings and do other stuff. <laughs> So we have an explanation for this, ladies and gentlemen. If you're wondering yes. why there's nothing inside, it's actually, I think you can call it an inside joke because not a lot of people actually get to go inside, you know, not a lot of yes. students rather, you know. This is where they hold the very secretive uh, meetings. Very secretive where the, meetings. Mm -hmm, the board of trustees, the administrators. This is where, this is the room where it happens, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. And uh, yeah, were you able to go inside, Ashley? Sorry. No, I haven't been able to go inside, but like, but were you able to see it? Really know. Like, take a glance. Was the chairs the very big? Yeah, and the and the table. And the table. It's it was very very fancy. You know, very velvety. Yeah. If you could have seen it, ladies and gentlemen, it would. It's so. Uh, it makes you wish that that was your classroom. You know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Thank so, you very much. Moving on, yes. We will go into the classroom of Topaz. So fun fact, uh, it's like a share kolang. Uh, <laughs> this was my classroom when I was in ninth grade, back when I was a new student in grade nine. This was actually the classroom uh, that mm -hmm. uh, one of, was one of the coldest and one of the easiest to, you know, when the door was not locked or when, the, when you couldn't find the key and if you wanted to open the door, you could just go through that little tiny special door right behind that whiteboard, as you can see right there. Was, I think that was the only classroom that had that kind of door, right? Yeah, yeah. It was really surprising. See. Students would go in and out of it always. Yeah, so it's a matter of convenience. If, you know, if, you, if your teacher wanted you to get something from the classroom, you could just shake that door right there. You could go inside, crawl under, and then you, you have it. You can open the classroom. <laughs> Oh, okay. there. And after that room, if you will look to your right, you will see the grade nine classrooms. That whole hallway right there is all grade nine classrooms. Hello, Nine Sapphire. That was actually section also as well. Yeah. Just, the just coldest. It was. And it looks really like Nine Sapphire. I'm actually scared how yeah. it looks so similar. It, it's so detailed, like, <laughs> wow, yeah, amazing. Okay. Good job. <laughs> okay. So then. continuing down this hallway, at the end of this hallway, you will see the only set of bathrooms or comfort rooms on this floor. And mm -hmm. yeah. When we needed to go to the CR, the entire floor had to go to this bathroom. To this very hallway, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's empty, lol. Also <laughs> empty. But it, but rest assured, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, our it was, real yeah. life, it's, there's actually a toilet in there in real life. It's just not there in Minecraft. <laughs> and if you go to your left, you will see the ropes. It was actually like the easiest way to get to the canteen if, if you were in the grade nine sections i agree based from experience this was based from experience guys so we're going down the ramp it pro tip to those who haven't gone to wisdom if you are in ninth yes, or tenth grade if you want to go to the fourth floor we will be this is oh i think we're having technical difficulties right now ladies and gentlemen so you know please excuse us but uh continuing on uh pro tip if you want to go to the fourth floor this is the least tiring way i remember having to go yes. every day to school using the <laughs> rabbit it was still tiring but it's the least tiring choice going through that ramp <laughs> okay, so you're back, Ashley. All right, take it away. 
Okay, so we have the third floor, and this is the floor where all the laboratories are, and the first room that we are going to go into is the physics laboratory. Well, the physics laboratory is obviously the place where students get to learn about physics. <gasps> yeah, it's called the physics laboratory. But I actually <laughs> never tried. Laboratory. Yeah, we never actually tried to do any experiments here, right, Ashley? Not really. Yeah. But it was used as the classroom for nine topaz when it got a bit flooded. But it was yeah. okay. <laughs> it, was our it was our time because during in the fourth floor, ironically, would could you imagine that the fourth floor our classroom the nine topaz we showed you earlier it was one of the most uh likely places to have a flood on the fourth floor okay so so <laughs> what would uh and it's very common for our classroom back then to flood so what would happen was uh we would go there to that uh, physics laboratory and have our class there and it wasn't bad at all it was actually a very nice experience it was yeah. very fun. I had a lot of good memories in that physics laboratory. I also learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's proceed to the next laboratory, which was the biology laboratory, which is just beside the physics laboratory. Yeah, all the labs are right beside each other, which is pretty convenient. Mm -hmm. you know? And now we are inside the storage room which is headed by mamlita sarabia yeah she yeah. was the teacher you would go to if you wanted to borrow uh, lab mm -hmm. equipment you make sure you return that lab equipment because it's very expensive yes so, you needed to get her permission first before you borrow any lab equipment yeah so that's the name that's the person you go to that's the teacher you go to mamlita sarabia okay then Moving on, let's proceed to the chemistry laboratory. Fun fact, this is actually where most of the movie exam happens because it is very convenient. It has lots of space. And yeah. yes, it is a very, it is a place that has a lot of memories. Yeah, I remember that moving exam we had in grade 10. Yes. <laughs> For TLE. Yeah, oh my gosh. And yeah, it was really funny because what happened was uh, mom put a lot of, uh, remember that like she put pictures of uh, cooking equipment and we had to label it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and we were only given. Yeah, very fast. We were only given like 15 seconds or 10 seconds each to answer before, you know, she would ring a bell and we had to move to the next uh, uh, yeah. block in that same laboratory. So yeah, future teachers of wisdom, this is where you hold your moving exams. <laughs> All right. Very many memories. Okay, next up, let's get out of that room and see the hallway, yay. Yeah, the lockers are very lockers. similar. And they have books. <laughs> yeah. No. Nice. And so, if yeah. you look to your right, you will see the stairs as well. So this is just one set of stairs that you could use in BWS. There's still a lot more. Yeah, this set of stairs is the center, you would, what you would call, you know, the center most of this building. Mm -hmm. This is where students would usually go through if it were, you know, if they want to go through one building or another. But like as I we as we said a while ago, the ramp that we saw just now, that was usually where the ninth or tenth grade students would go through if they want to go to the canteen. But this center stairway is, you know, is the common stairway, the one you would see uh, most often. Yes. It is the one that most students would use, most teachers would use. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So now let's go down. Down, down, down. And on this floor, this is where the grade seven and the grade eight classrooms mm -hmm. were located. The second floor, yep. 
Yeah, the second floor. <laughs> April. So yes, down that hallway, those are the uh, grade seven. Yeah. yeah, the grade seven classrooms. And you can see right there at the very uh, end of the hallway, that's another set of, um, yeah, one for boys and one for girls. One for girls. And if we go down the stairs again, we are going to arrive at the classrooms for the grade six, the grade school people. Yeah, the fifth grade and the sixth grade. The fifth grade and the sixth grade, yeah. So yeah, we're looking at the lockers right now. Ashley, did you ever have a locker back then? Yes, I did. I did. How about you, Masha? Did you ever have a locker? I only had a locker <laughs> once. And after that, I didn't want a locker because uh, like my locker was located like one floor below me and there mm -hmm. were the the floor below me was usually crowded with a lot of people lower who, whose grade was lower than mine and you know yeah. And, <laughs> but yeah speaking of that pro tip again if you want a locker you have to get you have to be quick ladies and gentlemen yeah you need to pick one that you actually want because it's first come first serve yeah <laughs> That's true. But yeah, lockers are convenient for sure. Very it's just that you have to be quick in getting them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and continuing on, we are going to arrive at the high school square. Mm -hmm. So the high school square, we're going down. You are seeing the entire view of what the high school square would look like yes. in Minecraft. And I and if I do say so myself, it really does look like the real thing. Yes, it does. I swear the details. It is amazing. So that is the view of uh, Bohol Wisdom School from that viewpoint. So the high school square is usually where the morning assembly and the flag ceremony for the high school students would happen. This is, uh, if you see on the staircase there, this is usually where the grade 10 students would stand. And yeah. on the surrounding areas, that's where the grade 7, grade 8, grade 9 students would stand as well for the flag ceremony. And uh, also, this is the place where <laughs> almost everyone, dancing. yeah, that everyone would practice dancing. here. This is the practice area for everyone, especially high school students. Yes. This is very, the place where, cute. yeah. If this is the place where, if you guys practice, everyone can see you, and you know, it's it's a yes, normal all thing. The other buildings <laughs> can see you, so if yes. you do something, well, you know, just know that there are eyes everywhere. There are eyes. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that is actually true. Okay, very beautiful. Okay, and next up, we have the computer lab. If you would go to your left then you would see the computer lab where the students get the chance to learn, to think, to create, to explore and enhance their learning and scientific ability, especially when it comes to computers and programming. So yeah, there are two laboratories for a Bohol Wisdom School, one for the junior high and one for the senior high right next to each mm -hmm. other. I had a lot of memories with uh, this. Uh, both of us had a lot of memories with yeah, this yeah. Uh, computer lab. And back when we were in uh, 10th grade, we had a new subject, which was called robotics. And uh, Arduino. yeah, we learned. Yeah, Arduino. This We used the, you know, we used Arduino. We had to, we had one project. Where we had to program a robot arm. <laughs> yeah, we had to make a robot arm from scratch. Yeah, and we, we had to make sure it had to pick up stuff and put it in another yeah. area, you know. Never it was can. not easy, but yeah, it was it was worth it. It was fun. Yeah, it's it's true, ladies and gentlemen, because programming nowadays, uh, even though I'm not working, but you can tell programming is useful now. Very so uh, useful. you shouldn't take if you're gonna have uh, Arduino or robotics next year, ladies and gentlemen, don't take it for granted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much for that wonderful view. Let's go to the next area which will be the campus ministry office. So they had their practices, had their, where 
it just the teacher just stayed in all right like right. technical difficulties my apologies ladies and gentlemen yeah we're going to continue all right you're back you're back ashley okay yes, <laughs> you want to finish yeah. your part uh yeah so the campus ministry office is where the choir usually um practice mm -hmm. for masses and this is all where the religion teachers stay yeah for the catholic uh mass this is where the choir mm -hmm. would practice and mass and worship service for the non-catholics would happen i guess it was so Every first Wednesday of the month, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. And next, we would have to go to the FPGTA office. So the FPGTA office is obviously the office where the FPGTA would have their meetings, but it was also an office used by the SSC and the SSG to hold their meetings. This is where we used to have... Um, our meetings and planned activities for school it was it is also a place with very many memories for me yeah yeah because you were part of the SSC back uh, in face to face but yeah, now let's, we're going virtual yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> ladies and gentlemen tamang stream lang tayo please Okay, AJ, okay. okay. That's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. We, yeah. we can still see the stream. It's all, we're all chill here. Yeah. Moving on to if we walk down that uh, rosy path, literally rosy because you can see the many plants and mm -hmm. uh, the wonderful pond right on, to your left, ladies and gentlemen. It's very, uh, it's, again, it's very nostalgic. <laughs> it's, it's making me cry. Memories, you know? memories. All right. So AJ is taking us, um, giving us a view, a nice view of the garden. Yeah, this is the Minecraft perspective of this area of the whole yes. of school. It's full of flowers and uh, na nature, you know, a breath of fresh air from the concrete buildings uh, around the institution. It's a good balance. Yeah, very green. Okay, so next up, we would have the offices. Yep. So the very first office you would see to your left is the student behavior coordinator's office. And our student behavior coordinator is none other than Mom Lim. Shout out to Mom Lim if you're watching this. <laughs> Hi, Mom Lim. So yeah, uh, I remember that before every quarterly assessment back in face to face, they would they yeah, they would check the the bum them would check your hair if you were a boy, yeah. if it was too long. If not, she would cut it off. <laughs> or if you were a girl or a boy, she would check your nails and see if it was too short or too long, you know? Yeah. That would this is where all that matter all that jazz happens, you know. And of course, if you had any relationships or you know, if you were from yeah, PDA, out, <laughs> PDA, then you would be sent to this office and your parents would also be called. Yeah, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, bowel relationships and wisdom. So they're just, just giving you a pro tip <laughs> also. Okay. okay. So the other offices would be the principal's office, the academic coordinator's office. There are very many offices here. And also the Chinese office. This is where all the Chinese teachers would stay. Yeah. Our Lao Shir. Yeah, I miss Lao Shir, man. <laughs> Me too. I miss our Chinese class. Yeah, and this is also the place like uh, sometimes you would go here and if you have a performance task in Chinese, this is where you would dictate your Chinese characters to Lao Shir and get graded. Yes, and also our Chinese song, our Chinese graduation song. Yeah, we didn't get to sing it. Yeah, we didn't get to sing it, but it was it was cool. It was still a project. <laughs> we, yeah, it was still a project. We sang in front of Lao Shir. Yeah, oh yeah, speaking of that, yeah. 
we had to sing in front of Lauscher in that office, and Lauscher didn't care if there were other teachers. You yeah. had to sing and yeah, make you sure you get the lyrics right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, where are we now, Ashley? We are still in the Chinese office, I think. Okay, okay. Yeah, we are. Okay, continuing down this path are the other offices. And now let us proceed to the elementary department. Here you would see the classrooms of the grade school students. And this is where their classes took place. There are very many students in this area who would play and stuff, and especially in the grade school square. Yeah. Yeah, if there's a high school square, there's also a grade school square, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be seeing that in a few minutes. Yes. Oh, the audio-visual room, the AVR. It was one of my favorite locations yeah. in Wisdom. So. This is also where we had to practice and perform <laughs> a lot of plays, a lot of seminars. Nice build. Yeah. yeah. It's very wow. Nice so build. I like the red. Wow. Yeah, me too. It looks so detailed. Okay. Oh, there's the piano. <laughs> there's the piano there. Wow, very cute. Nice. Okay. I still yeah, this you can see. so many plays. Like, I swear. Yeah, this is where you would hold the plays and all the, mm -hmm. you know, musical, acting, performance tasks. Mm -hmm. Right over here. And not only that, people who aren't from your section or aren't from your class can go in freely and watch your performances if they wanted yes. to. So It's a very big room. And it is also air-conditioned. Yeah, I remember, Ashley, as well, when we would have, like, those types of performance tasks by class. And we would have to, you know, people would... There would be one student from our section who would have to stay here and say, you yeah, you can't take this room because it's reserved by our class. And, you know, it's a first come, first serve. <laughs> yeah, reserved, reserved. You had to actually go and reserve the audiovisual room if you wanted to practice. Yeah, it got pretty competitive back in our day. <laughs> yeah. So there. Again, yeah, nice yeah. build. Yeah. There. Oh, they even oh have gosh, a changing yes. room. <laughs> the changing room and the comfort room. Yeah, the back of the ABR. At the ABR. Back of the ABR. Mm -hmm. So basically, this was backstage. Yeah, and the real life BW BWS, sorry, is uh, you can see all the props, all the materials mm -hmm. for dances. They're all located there as well. At that at, at that area. Okay. Very very so, nice. Where are we going next? Is We're going to the library department. Yeah, this is the elementary department, guys. Yeah, but before that, we have to go to the library, you know. Yeah. Going up the stairs and going to your right, you would find the door to the library. So, yeah, there is a lot of books that you can choose from. And if you wish, mm -hmm. you can donate the bo your books, your old books to the library as well. And there's a cat. The cat is there. <laughs> yeah, there was also a cat in the in the library. Very cute. Mm -hmm. There are also a lot of thesis papers from the alumni of the BWS um, in mm -hmm. here, which you could use to borrow um, for your thesis. Yeah, if you uh, like our batch are about to finish our PR, your hardbound would or your hard your hardbound book would be located right in this library for anyone to view at their own pleasure. And yeah, if you wanted to print something, you can, you know, pay a certain amount of money to have uh, to print your projects. Yes. Yeah. There are also computers in this library. Yeah, at your left side. Yes, from where we're side. looking. So right oh, there. 
the library was also the place that you usually took your special exams in. Um, a special mm. exam is an exam you take after missing the test on the required date or the actual uh, date that the teacher gave it. So the library was the place to do it. And the librarian yeah, you, also have a very close eye on you. So, <laughs> yeah, if you had a contest, especially if people like like Ashley, if she had a national yeah. contest, you know, she uh, once they would go back to school, they would usually miss a test, and this is the place where they yeah. would uh, have to take their makeup test. A lot of tests here. Yeah, I also remember doing that. So yeah, oh, that's so nostalgic. So right there, that. That other, the other side of the hallway is the, uh, is the, um, what do you call this office? office? Yeah, it's the guidance office. So, this is where the students also took their special exams sometimes, and this is where the quarterly assessment papers are stored. So, students are not allowed <laughs> to bring home their QA papers, so they get stored in this room. Yeah, with their own folders, and mm -hmm. it's also it's also a requirement that people got uh, like at the end of the school year make sure that your papers are complete. You know. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, another experience of mine when I before I enrolled in Bohoism School in grade in ninth grade, this is actually where I took the entrance test. This Ooh. very area, yeah, they had an entrance test. Yeah, I took the entrance exam in the computer the computer room in the library. Oh, so it was a different yeah, I was, I was location. Alone. It was, it was, yeah, it was okay. Yeah, I was also alone there. <laughs> oh, so there, you see the top view of the whole guidance office. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So let's move on. Okay, and again, we have the elementary department. So what you're looking at, um, if you look to your left, and if you go inside, that's a classroom. And if you look and to your left, it's another this classroom. Is the grade square. Yeah, this is the grade, this school, is the grade square. school square. If there were people in the high school square, this is where you go to for practice as well, the grade school square. Yeah. A lot of activities were held here, especially for the grade school students. And even some high school students would also do their practices here. Of course, yeah. asking permission first. So this is where we would have our dance practice. Yeah. And yeah. If the high school square was already full of people, then the grade school square was next. Yeah, someone said I saw a comment which says I miss school. Yeah, I miss I miss yeah, it too. Same. I like I miss looking at the buildings and you know face to face classes. I, I'm I wish I could you know experience it one last time in Bohol Wisdom School. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Very it's nice so build. Yes, very nice build. There's even the flag. Yeah, the flag's there as well. It's very accurate. <laughs> so yeah, the hallway, all those classrooms down those four corners or those four, four sides of the high school square contain all the grade school classrooms. The Except for the sixth grade. The office was actually also in this area. Yeah, the nurse's office. Because obviously, maybe like a lot of young students got their got like wounds and stuff. Like studying, so the nurse's office is near this area. Yes, and we're on the stage. Yeah. It was very nice, like looking at the school again. <laughs> very nostalgic. Yeah. I'm actually imagining the real life version in my head. No, like, at it. I'm imagining myself like walking through it, you know. Okay, so this was the nurse's office. Yeah, it's in during in trams, this is where a lot of students would stay to rest or if they have, you know, if they're if it's too hot, yeah, they can stay there for 10 to 15 minutes to take yeah. a break, catch a breath, especially for the athletes out there. This is mm -hmm. where you would stay. 
there are and it's a very lot of cold also. yeah this chair yeah there was also a dentist chair here mm -hmm. and yeah if you had a if you have a stomach ache if you had a, a sore eye you yeah. would this is where you would go and they would give you medication yeah all right <laughs> next so up let's go. we have the preschool department yay a very yay. colorful <laughs> place <laughs> Yeah, the do you call that the, the circle? Paintings and stuff. Yeah, there were also paintings and posters on the blue thing you see there. Yeah. Lots of stuff. There are a lot of plants in the circle, actually. And if it would rain, it would be very pretty because if it would rain, the only this part would be wet, and then you would see the raindrops and you know, it was very, yeah, it's very mm -hmm. yeah, and it's very beautiful. Like even just looking at the Minecraft version, you see yeah, as the sun, the sunlight is coming from the circle, and it's it's very yeah, mesmerizing. It's exactly see? like that. Very nice. Yeah, it's very makes, pretty. Makes me want to go to preschool again. Joke, <laughs> <laughs> joke lang. So there, yeah. And if you would go here. Then you would see the garden space area. This was actually the old canteen or like where the students would actually eat their lunch before. But since the new mm. canteen was built, uh, they just turned this place into like a garden. It's pre very pretty also. Yeah, and this location right there at the front of our avatar here, this is the location of the supposedly newest building yeah right there mm -hmm. but even ashley and i don't know what is what's in it right now yeah. i wish we knew it's not it was never used yeah because of the pandemic it was finished uh, i guess last year or somewhere mm -hmm. early early this year you know okay <laughs> mom tabia's plant yeah mom tabia's plants very Mom Tabio, Mom Tabio would take care of those plants really diligently. And the bridge. They also put a bridge. Oh, yeah. This is the place where, you know, students would hang out as well. You mm -hmm. can eat their lunch there. People would hang out, play um, some games, hang, uh, you know, hang out, you know? Just hang out, casual hang out. So Very if you're... Mm-hmm. Oh, what's that? What's the smoke? <laughs> oh, nice build. I can't stop saying nice build because it is, you know? Yeah, it is. Like, the details are very amazing. Okay, so we're going on to... We're going to move forward to the very, very memorable place of yes. Ashley and I and <laughs> other students. I think you know the what I mean, room. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, the shop room, or also known as the TLE room. <gasps> this was this was Mom Binsoy's place. This was her sanctuary. This is where she. Yeah, this is her events. sanctuary. <laughs> this is where we used to make our plates, our drawing plates, and other drafting. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, our draft. Yeah, drafting. And the what do you call those things again? The T square. The big, yeah, the T square. Never, never go to TLE when you're in grade nine without your T square. Yes, you need your own. So yeah, a pro tip: if you're a grade nine student or if you're gonna have drafting and face to face, always make sure your desk, that desk, your table is not uh, crooked. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've been a victim of that it too many times. Work. Yeah, or if the table has a hole in it and you put your pencil mm -hmm. on it, it would create a hole and you have to start all over again. 
<laughs> oh, there were also the notebooks. We made notebooks, like hardbound ones. Did oh, you when you were in grade eight? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds nice. So in grade in grade nine, we had purely drafting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and uh, Mom Pinsoy would stay there behind that uh, yeah that uh, shelf thing there, yeah. and that's where you would pass your plates. Make sure you pass on time. There would be minus points if you don't. Yeah, <laughs> and she would have uh, her army of cats with her. <laughs> Very many cats. So there, uh, many memories from the BWCS. Uh, I, I have a lot of stories from the TLE room. A lot of memories with my class here. Yeah. Also used to stay late here. Like I've, I know a few people who used to stay late here just to finish their drafts. Yeah. Yeah, especially if it's almost QA. You have mm -hmm. to finish your drafts. People would stay a lot in this place. Yeah, because your clearance won't get signed. <laughs> yeah, without the completion. Mm -hmm. So there, okay. moving on. So the next room beside the shop room would be the cooking room. Yeah, the cooking room. Yeah, we the kitchen. The kitchen, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you would enter through here and this is where uh mom zaira would you know uh initiate her cooking projects with the grade 10 students cooking so uh, here yeah a lot of memories of it was very stressful at times especially if your dish was hard yes especially if you had to like put your dish in the fridge or leave it like frozen or something and you had to wait and then there was yeah. a deadline and you still had to like go to teachers and then ask them to sign and then rate your dish it was very stressful but it was fun and you get to eat the leftovers if there were any because sometimes yeah, the teachers were. would eat all of it you know well, that's good you know so yeah um TLE lasted back then for one hour and 20 minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. Or no, 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 two hours because it was three periods. And 40 minutes each, yeah. Seems like a that, lot of time. When we were in grade 10, luckily our schedule for cooking was um, on every Friday. And it yeah. was the last project like every friday so and we ended we ended classes at three o'clock so we still had like ample time until five to finish our dishes yeah. and stuff. it was it was it was very lucky ours was monday monday afternoon Ooh. so like yeah the most tiring day of the week and then we would have to cook and we would we didn't have really extra time a lot so yeah you can imagine you know the pressure <laughs> pressure stress <laughs> So yeah, we're we're recalling our memories right now. Forgive us. So, <laughs> <laughs> so moving on. Are we ready to move on? Yeah. Look. Okay. Okay. So going to this path would lead to the playground. Yeah, we would have to see the playground. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, usually preschoolers would hang out. But if it was uh, yeah. like, um, what do you call it? Recess or lunch, mm -hmm. people would hang out here as well. Usually around the basketball court area, which is right yeah, next to the playground. Mm -hmm. A very big area as well. Yeah, this was the... Guys. Oh, no, you go ahead. My bad. So, as you can see, guys, here is the playground and the basketball court. So, yeah, this was the famous basketball court. I call it famous because I remember it having f five rings. Yeah, or, hmm. or six. Or was it four? I'm not sure. Because there were two, like the whole court, there were two. Then that oh, one. Yeah, that... yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think six. Maybe. Yeah, six. Because there were four there. <laughs> yeah. 
I was like, when I first came to Wisdom, I was like, that is so unique and so confusing. Students would play like at the same time. It was fun. Lots of people would stay here. Yeah, you have to be careful of flying objects. <laughs> so yeah, what is right next to the basketball court? That is the, the... canteen. Yes. The very famous canteen where all yeah. your worries would go away. <laughs> where you can eat your stress away. Yes. Buy your stress and eat it away, you know. It has two floors. And the first floor has its own set of comfort rooms as well. Yeah, and the first floor is where people would, you know, they would have their stalls and they would buy food yeah. there. Yeah. The second floor a is lot, purely a tables. would actually eat here. Like, of course, it's a canteen, so... Yeah, but the special thing about it is it's also first come, first serve if you want to eat in yes. the canteen. Yes. <laughs> the second floor is purely tables. Mm -hmm. So from the view of the second floor, you can also see um, the, the, the street that's right behind Bohol Wisdom School, like the houses there. Yeah. And yeah, just a little fun fact. <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to be there. So yeah. Uh, it's cute. White blocks. White blocks. <laughs> <laughs> but rest assured there are chairs in the in the Yeah, center. there are chairs and tables. Don't worry, it's not just blocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not just marble. All right. Okay, as we go down, we will be seeing the entrance to the gym at the right side. The gym. The gym. This is where a lot of events would be held, whether by wisdom or not by wisdom. Yes, concerts, um, seminars, activities of the SSC, like the... Oh, games and stuff. So, so many ha things happen here. And this is the backstage of uh, the mm -hmm. the stage of the the gym. This is where people would usually prepare their makeup or whatever it mm -hmm. whatever it is. The and actually, rooms. yeah, the changing room is right there as we just went through. And right behind our avatar is the red curtain. You can actually pass behind there. There's actually a separate hallway where you can pass through for people mm -hmm. who are going backstage. Yeah. It's like the two sides of the changing rooms are connected by one hallway at the back. Yep. So there are actually two, what do you call it, two parts of the backstage. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The left and the right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The left and the right. And we it's are on the stage, a very big stage. <laughs> Where the hosts would stay and where dances would would mm -hmm. be performed and where students would perform, where the bands would perform. You were you were in a band, right, Masha? Yeah, I was in a band back then. Wow, I sound so edgy. Like, yeah, I was in a band. <laughs> yeah, we would perform uh, events, yeah. huh? Yeah. yeah go, go. Oh, uh, yeah. We. I was in a band with my fellow uh, friends. Mm -hmm. It was. Uh, Liana Busejo, Rigel Hermione, Sav Abonete, you know, the, the usual yeah. people. We would play songs usually in like Buana uh, Wika or, um, yeah, usually around like those special months, right? Their, mm -hmm. their contests per batch. Usually we would play. Yeah. yeah. And of course, we would have the basketball court, another set of basketball court where the varsity get to have their practices. Yeah, speaking of varsity, this is actually, this gym, this very gym is actually where a lot of the basketball city meet events would be held. Like before yes. I was in Bohol Wisdom School and when I was part of the varsity team for girls basketball, this is actually where we had our, uh, our championship game mm -hmm. in this very court. And 
are we allowed to say the name of the fan? <laughs> Drop just there big, at the top. Just big fans. Yeah, the big fan. <laughs> at the very top. This is also where we would have our Holy Mass every first Wednesday of the month. And our General Assembly. Yes, every first Monday of the month. Mm -hmm. And also, every Monday we would be here. Yeah. It's, for the uh, high school mm -hmm. This is where we would have our General Assemblies every Monday. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, usually like the, the intrams. This is where we would hold our intrams, like the fight, the finale, yeah. the yeah. dances. They were all the here. Dances, yes. This was where everyone, everyone, almost everyone from Mo Islam School would watch events yeah. right here. You can see there are like bleachers at the side. It's very, very big, and thousands of people could fit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is why be like uh, people, you know, organizations who are not from Bohol Wisdom School would you know uh, hold events here as well. Like uh, mm. before, there was a bo boxing match here. They had a ring yeah. and everything. Yeah, a lot of people watched. Mm -hmm. Very very crowded, <laughs> but it was before the pandemic. Yeah, before the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Can we a special request for our virtual tour guide, virtual avatar? Can we change the lighting to show our audience like, how uh, the gym would look like from day to night? Can we do that? Yeah. Oh wow! This is what this is the this is what the gym would look like throughout the the day. Yes. And this is where we would practice, like, uh, for, yeah. especially for the older students until the very, until very dark times or uh, like, until nighttime, we would practice here for we would, a lot of Yeah, events. we would practice for, like, foundation days, dance, or the Chinese New Year dance. Yeah, Chinese New Year. Oh, um, I remember when we were in grade 10. It was it was very nice. It was a very nice dance. Yeah, because you choreographed it, you know. Yeah. That. So yeah, this is also where we would hold our foundation days. Dance. Yeah. Any big event, really, ladies and gentlemen. Any big event would be right here. So thank you very much to our virtual tour guide AJ Humanget for yeah, AJ helping us. Humanget. Yeah, he is the one controlling the the minecraft Everything. guy the i don't know the term the uh, the the avatar <laughs> it's okay aj <laughs> fighting it's good it's good just we we can we, we can chill we can chill so this is also another entrance and exit to mm -hmm. to and from the gymnasium mm -hmm. and next we have the finance office. And yeah, that door is not usually open. Yeah. But in Minecraft, it is. <laughs> but yeah, this as is... you can see, that um, that window thing there, that's the finance office. And that is usually where you get your books needed from school, where you pay your tuition, or where you inquire about stuff from school. So that's where you go to. The cashier is also there. Yeah, this is where you uh, pay your financial obligations to the school. Mm -hmm. and, and there this would be the parking lot. Mm -hmm. The parking lot inside. And yeah, we are back to the, the front portion of the school outside the buildings. Mm-hmm. Where there is also a parking lot uh, in the facing the highway. <laughs> it's okay, AJ. Thank you. So we are going to ride our. Are we going to ride the cart? <laughs> okay. 
yeah, this is hypothetically the road in front of the highway in front of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the highway. <laughs> Woo! There we go. And yes, that ends yep. our virtual tour. It ends our tour from school. Yeah, that we have reached the pinnacle of the virtual tour, our virtual Minecraft tour, our very second virtual Minecraft our tour. Very second. Again, special, special thanks to all of the people who worked so hard to make this server possible, to make everything here in the server, and who put, who really put the effort and the details to wisdom, to the Bahal Wisdom School building. Yeah, thank you for paying homage through your through your hard work and dedication to build actually take the time to build yeah. a very precise <laughs> i'm actually still astounded by how uh, yeah. when we ventured around the school it was that accurate i did not expect that at all so thank you very much because uh, the people here this was this is obviously not an easy task and uh, the yes. sec is very grateful and we are honored to be a part of this virtual minecraft tour Thank you very much. And thank you to all the viewers. Thank you for commenting and sharing your uh, your Inside. sentiments. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, and your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that you took this journey with us. Uh. <laughs> Again, thank you everyone. And we hope you have a very good night. Good night tonight. Thank you very much, and welcome to our very first day of Students Week. Thank you to all. We'd also like to give a shout out to Sir Herms, who is <laughs> the one um, doing the stream. Yeah, yeah. thank you to our sir. streamer. Thank you. Hi, sir. And thank you to AJ Humangit, who's also accompanying us right now, who's actually controlling what we are seeing right now on the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and uh, we would like special. to end the virtual tour here. Oh, yes, but oh yeah, the, one more thanks. So well, thank you to the people who actually made the server. Allow me to mention them as well. Yes. Uh, Francis Hamito, who was the original host for this server, who, which was made actually last year. And we had the mm -hmm. honor to, to present it to the BWCNs and non-BWCNs this year. Rafael Nicolo Orilla, Ina Veloso, Sev Abonete, Ro Rodney Fabiania, Kirk Bennett Vilosido, Joris Boncaron, Craig Hornido, JV Barrera, mm -hmm. John Charles Lofranco, Gavin Javier Pino, Chris Dexy Kalag, and to the person who is uh, sharing our view right now, AJ Humangit. Thank you very much for making this possible. And thank you to all who is who have watched the stream and are currently watching right now. We hope you have a good night. Good night, BWCNs, and good night, everyone. Bye. Patayin na natin. Next turn. Hey, what's up, Jordan? Uh, Jordan Calma. Maraming salamat sa pag-follow, brother. Feeling ko pwede ko nang patayin to. Sacrifice na natin yung bird natin dito. Para mawasak na natin agad. Kesa yung ma-aabala pa natin. Magpapa-energy pa to.